Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, sustainability, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from Data Cloud Global Congress 2024 here in the beautiful French Riviera. And I have two guests joining me today. We have Jackie Pluchon and Ben Rapp from Kohler Energy. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for joining. Thanks, Allison. Of course. And so congratulations are in order. Kohler Energy is nominated for not one, but two awards at this evening's award ceremony. Congratulations. So we will start with the first one, Data Center Vendor of the Year. Jackie, can you share with our viewers what it means to be recognized for this and not only for supporting customers, but making such an impact on the market? Sure, thank you. Uh, no, first, it's, uh, it's really an honor, I, I think, for everyone at Color Power System, Color Energy, to be recognized for such an award and uh, and uh, and among such a prestigious list of vendors. And yeah. So uh, I think it is a result of uh, you know, uh, the, not only the work over the past 12 months, but the last the result of the strategy somewhere for the last seven, eight years. You know, it started with the introduction of our Color engines in 2016, you know, which was a new engine for the market, a new solution for the customers. Uh, and now we're ranging up to 4,500 kV, which is the largest output in the market. Uh, so a great solution for customer in terms of power density. And uh, also we developed over time some solution for you know enclosures, large enclosures, which is also a, a key point in the market, uh, either in America with our E-Frame solution, in Europe, uh, EMEA with our uh, walking containers. So that's another additional solution for the customers. And those, let's say, enclosures can be deployed on site with a lot of different configuration, which help customers. So it's, it's really this kind of achievement and also a complete organization in the main, the three main regions that we are working on in America, in the NEA, APAC, of dedicated organization to the data center markets, not only sales marketing, but also project management, site management, engineering, uh, after sales, and all those functions that the customer expects you know, from, from a vendor like uh, like uh, like a port. So, uh, and, and the last one, Ben will speak better. I'm sure it's about sustainability. We've made a lot of effort on sustainability and something that we have uh, made a lot of efforts to make sure we we answer the challenges faced by the, uh, by the market and by right. the DC industry. Well, sustainability is something very near and dear to our hearts at JSA, obviously, as well. And it sounds like you have a great team, great history, and all of those solutions that you just mentioned that brought you to this award. So congratulations again. And then, Ben, you're nominated for a finalist in Young Talent of the Year. Congratulations there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And yeah, I'm you... surprised about that. You're yeah. surprised. <laughs> I was, no. yeah, but I appreciate the support. It's a huge honor. Um, and I think... You know, the biggest aspect is that Kohler was super supportive through that process. And I think kind of the sticking point here is that everybody was a team um, in this effort. Um, so, yes, I'm the nominee, but everyone was super supportive internally to the organization and had a full team of engineers behind me supporting me in the project. So huge Aww. win. Yeah. Team effort. It was. Yeah. Great. And we mentioned sustainability recently, but that's something that's so entwined in the Kohler Energy brand and your history, and especially in, in recent years, just making even more sustainable developments. Can you share what sustainability means for Kohler Energy and what you're doing there? Sure. Well, definitely, it's of course, very important for everyone right now. Mm -hmm over the world somewhere but in the in our business I think we see it as a pass you know it's not something that we're going to resolve from day one right. you know it's a pass that we have uh, tried to to put in different steps so the first step for us was to be sure that we can have our engines compliant with HVO which is the best solution today to reduce you know carbon footprint when the gen set is, uh, is running and the other solution for us was also proposing specific maintenance programs that allows you to run less and less your generators as little as possible but still to be ready the day it needs to start so that was uh, let's say uh, the first step that we, we have developed for, for us to reduce our carbon footprint and help our customers to, uh, to answer those challenges they have in front of them. Meeting the demands and then anything you wanted to add there from a sustainability standpoint? Yeah I think we just really understand that um, all of our customers are on different stages of their sustainability journey. So how do we provide solutions that meet all of those various needs? And I think, you know, Jackie spoke to a lot of those uh, with renewable diesel and HVO, uh, but it's also going to uh, newer technology solutions such as fuel cells. We've developed our first 100 kilowatt solution. We're looking at other opportunities out there. 
and really just being able to provide this suite of solutions that complements the existing portfolio and supports our customers with their sustainability. Well, it's no doubt a very exciting time for Kohler and for each of you. So thank you both for being here and good luck tonight. I wish you both the best of luck. <laughs> thank you. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in, coming to you live from Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. Until next time, happy networking.